Man charged tonight in a crash that killed a teacher in Spartanburg County appeared before a judge today. The husband of that teacher was also there and spoke in court. Our Scotty Kay has the story. 28-year-old Andres Barron appeared before a judge on Friday. Investigators say he crashed into another car shortly after running from police. It showed his speed approximately 109 miles per hour, four seconds prior to the collision. 36-year-old mom and teacher Jessica Munyon was the driver of that other car. The solicitor's office says she was on her way to pick up her six-year-old daughter from school when she was hit by Barron and killed. Ms. Munyon's uh, vehicle split in se several sections, Your Honor. Barron is now facing charges of reckless homicide and failure to stop, resulting in death. That can carry up to 25 years in prison and is considered a violent crime under the laws of South Carolina. But these aren't the first charges on Barron's criminal record. According to a SLED background check, Barron was charged with DUI back in May of 2020. He also faced a drug charge in February of 2020 and multiple charges for giving alcohol to a minor in December of 2012. But that's not all. He has one actually pending on the uh, Dane County, Wisconsin yard to DUI first or equivalent to, of theirs in their state. That occurred on July 24, 2019. It appears to still be pending at this time. Munyon's husband asked the judge to deny bond. With my wife's passing, I've officially lost half of my reason to be going through life as it is. All I have left now is my child, and you've taken away her mother. And I cannot express the grief and the concern I have, not for myself, because I'm going to be just fine one way or the other, but my child is my main concern going through the rest of her life, but I can only imagine how this is going to affect her going forward. Barron had an attorney representing him who said he was extremely remorseful. My client, uh, against my uh, legal training, uh, asked me could he just stay in jail. The magistrate did not set Barron's bond in the hearing. Instead, the case will now go to a circuit court judge. In Spartanburg County, Scotty K, 7 News. Barron's next court date will be April 22nd at 9 in the morning.